back to my channel. I'm so sorry it's been so long since I made a video, but I don't know whether you can guess. I am back at home. I've officially finished university and I will be graduating in less than a month's time, which is super scary, but um, yeah, but I've moved back and so now hopefully I'll be able to make videos a little bit more frequently because I am not um, moving back and forth and trying to get back into the swing of things. But anyway, back to the video that I've got planned today. And um, today is a requested video, and I've been requested to do a review of this very mysterious brown box. And um, don't worry, it's not actually about the box, it's about what's inside the box, but you know. Um, I had a, a request from a YouTuber, she left a comment on my what's in my handbag um, uh, video and I'll pop her name here. I'm so sorry I can't remember what your um, username was but I'll pop it down here for you. Um, and she requested that I do a review of my Mulberry French purse or a trifold, I think is what it used to be called um, when I got mine. But yeah, anyway, so this is um, the box of my purse. So I got my, shall I show you it first? So this is my purse here. Um, I got my purse as a Christmas present um, the Christmas of 2011, so it's coming up, it's a year and a half old, and it will be two years in, um, obviously December. Um, I got it from my mum, and it was like a semi, sort of, Christmas and birthday, because I absolutely love Mulberry. Mulberry is my, like, I don't know, it's a brand that if I could work for anyone, or if I could own all items of, I would be happy to own all of Mulberry. But anyway, um, so yeah, I thought I would show it to you in the box to start with, because this is how I received my purse. Um, my mum bought it from a uh, department store, so not from a freestanding Mulberry shop. Um, she got it from a Fennec. Um, so you don't, well, we didn't get the Mulberry, like, carrier bag, which is quite a shame, but, you know, I've bought her a purse now and a card holder and things, and she's now got a bag, so I know what they look like. Um, so yeah, mine came in... Um, this brown cardboard box here with a little bronze um, mulberry tree down here. Their packaging has changed slightly, but again, this was a year and a half ago, so I just thought I'd show you what I have. Um, there's no stickers or anything on the box, so when I received it, I was like, is there anything in it? I don't know. But um, yeah, and then when I had, when I opened it, it had a mulberry tissue paper, which I'm not sure where I've put. Um, but yeah, obviously, my purse was in there like so and the lid went on, and the box did close, um, just I haven't taken anything out of my, my purse is quite fat because I left all my cards and things inside just so I could show you how much it holds and everything. So yeah, let's put the box away. So my purse is the Mulberry French wallet, or French purse, it, it used to be called the Trifold, I will um, double check that online and I will get an up to date price for you and I'll pop it on the screen somewhere. Um, it's 14 hours. Oh. Uh, thank you, computer. Thank you. So I look up online, I put an up-to-date price and name um, on the screen for you right now. But my um, purse is, um, as far as I knew, uh, was the trifold, but now I think it is the French. It is in the oak leather, so the tan leather, and um, it has this lovely bronze um, plate on the front that says Mulberry, existing or EST, um, since 1971, with a little Mulberry tree on it. And the back is completely... Um, plain, apart from obviously the stitching that goes around the etching. I will do some close-up video shots, so don't worry. Um, I have used this purse, I literally put everything into it the day that I got it, so a year and a half ago, and I've used it ever since. I have travelled through um, France, Italy, Spain, Switzerland, Greece, Iceland, and then Italy again this last weekend, as well as using it every day in England, so it has really tested uh, I have really tested it out and used it an awful lot um, and there I have no faults with it whatsoever. This is the medium size, you can get an, a longer wallet which is more of like a travel wallet um, but this I will put the measurements again on the screen for you uh, just to let you know but this is a smaller, kind of fat but a smaller wallet that can fit in most bags. So I absolutely adore this purse, I've never had an issue with it and I've never had any sort of wear and tear with it. Um, because it is a natural leather and it's naturally tanned it won't stay the same colour forever. Like shoes, really. Um, as you can see, there's an indent on the back here where I have all my um, the five cards in a row, and it has darkened the leather just around those that square because it has pushed it out slightly with use. And I personally like that because I think it shows that you use it and you know you love it. And as I said, I've used this every single day for a year and a half. Um, apart from that, the only other darkening is really around the corners of the leather. I have scratched it a couple of times with my nails. Um, which when I first got it, I was like, oh, I scratched it, oh no. But it does sort of, you know, it, once you kind of use it again, it will smooth over and the scratch will sort of go away. Um, but you just just expect it not to stay 
absolutely perfect. It's not a patent leather purse, it's a natural purse, so it will wear. Um, but I, I feel it wears really nicely. I think it's quite an attractive um, look. So how you open it, you, let me just get in there, you pop up, pop like so, and you have this card section here, which is what you open it to. So you open it like this. So I forgot to add, just on the bottom of this card area, um, there is an embossed mulberry. It says mulberry in capital letters with a little mulberry tree, um, just to let you know. And you have this card section, two pockets here, so one here which I keep sort of um, old train tickets and um, my, what is this? Oh, like sort of um, when you get like... Uh, Cafe Nero or Costa or Starbucks and you get the stamp cards uh, and you get a free coffee if you drink 10 of them or something and um, that's what I keep in there and then I have another pocket here which I keep again the sort of stamp cards for Nando's which is like a um, uh, Portuguese uh, restaurant in England I'm not really sure and then a few other um, loyalty cards and an old train ticket too um, obviously your card section here which I have um, you can actually fit more than one card, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but more than one card per slot. You get five, one, two, three, four, five layers. And I have my one um, payment card in the top, in the front pocket here. Then I have my driver's licence and my um, library card, weirdly enough, um, as the second pocket. Sorry, I don't want to show you that's all. Um, I have my student ID, which I'll show you if you like. Um, in my third one with my boots card as well, so I have two cards in that one. I then have my um, another bank card and my travel insurance card in that slot. And then above I have my two um, young persons rail card um, in there. Then when you look at the purse itself, there's another pocket. Wow, in here. And in here I keep, generally if I'm travelling, I'll keep um, valid train tickets in this front pocket because they're easy to whack out, you don't have to open any zips or anything. Um, and it is quite contained. At the moment I have metro tickets from, because I went to Rome last weekend, and um, yeah, metro ticket, metro ticket, and a ticket for our car when we left it at Gatwick. Um, in, and then you have this main pocket here, which is like a big kind of, let me show you, massive kind of pocket here with, again, more card containers. So if I take all that stuff out, um, you have one, two, three card holder slots in there and again you can fit more than one card per slot. I have three cards at the bottom here but one is a cardboard card so it's kind of like two and a half. Um, one with my um, blood donor card in it, uh, one with my national in my health insurance for um, the UK, uh, it's like a European health insurance card, um, and then another one with my old uh, travel insurance card in it. A Topshop gift card in the next, and then the next slot, sorry, a Topshop gift card, and what have I got in there? Oh, a Boots, no, a Superdrug loyalty card, I don't know. I will show you some closer up pictures, sorry if it's a bit awkward here. And in the back, I it's a bigger pocket for cards, and I have one, two, three, I have five in the back there. And I have um, a Boots travel money, no, a, oh, why do I keep saying Boots? I want to say boots all the time. A um, post office travel money card, a blockbuster card, my national uh, identity card, my Costa card, and my RAC um, car breakdown cover card. So yeah, Whew, that was quite a lot. Um, as far as what I keep, and by the way, all this section here is covered by a sort of um, textile, like a material, and it's got little, uh, it's brown coloured, and it's got little um, mulberry trees um, embossed on that material. Um, and in there I keep all of this stuff, so um, quite an awful lot of things, um, a lot of receipts, which um, we don't need, my Oyster card, and my old uh, kind of temporary RAC card for my car again, more and more receipts, uh, again, lots of um, hair clips I keep in there, um, and then post-it notes and things I need to remember, and a couple of plasters as well. Um, so just sort of to let you know how much stuff you can actually fit in this. And so there, this is how you open the purse again, if you remember. Um, at the top, you have a massive slot for cash. I, at the moment, only have a £5 note in there. Um, but I have had notes, um, sterling and euros in this um, purse, as well as um, lira. No, not lira. What were they called? 
Icelandic Krona, there we go, um, that, and they all fit perfectly in there. Um, as far as I'm aware, I think the euro is the biggest note, like they're 100 euro notes and things, because I know dollars are a lot smaller and they all fit perfectly fine, I don't have to fold them or anything um, in that space, so yeah, just to let you know. And then again, there is a, so this is how you open the purse, just so you have your orientation. <laughs> kind of fold it this way and there is a zip that goes all the way along across and then one day one way down the side so it opens pretty much fully and you have two compartments for cash um, I again have uh, more receipts in there and it will happily hold or I've never had a problem with it having too much cash in it one because I never really have cash and two well I just never really have a problem um, and I have one two four pounds in there and one p. So yeah, that is my, that's my purse, and I'll do a couple of close-up shots for you now, um, but that is my um, purse, and I hope you enjoyed my review. Oh, yeah, have a lovely day, if you have any questions or queries, please let me know, and I will see you guys soon. Lots of love, thank you very much, bye!